Hello. Hi. Welcome. Oh, we did it already. Oh, we've already done the stupid. Okay. No, fuck that. Hang on. I need to collect myself. I, I was I was not prepared. <laughs> It just threw me right in there. <laughs> and then we just bang. And, and I wasn't, I had nothing in my head. I was looking at your, your iPod, the stopwatch had started. Oh, uh, okay. Well, welcome, welcome to this first episode. We have no idea what we're even called at this very moment. Not we're for even, a second. We're very like, just look, we need to do it. Because, yeah, we've been wanting to do this for a long time. Yeah. Like, a long, long time. Forever. And I, yeah, I just bought a box set of James Bond. So we're going we're gonna to do one. Of each bond and until I slowly lose my mind, and we just go downhill into a big pit of depression. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna we're only gonna do this bit once, um, because there's a very small chance we don't know who we are. But um, my name is Ben, and I do film studies, and that's it. Yeah, and and, and I'm Josh, and I don't do film studies and or that- <laughs> anything. That's all. So not like that's a qualification that I need to talk about. Movies because we're just we're just gonna talk shit. And yeah. It's not gonna be very good, but yeah. So we're just gonna go all the way from Sean Connery to Daniel Craig and his big potato head, and big potato head, and um, you know Sean Connery's immense, immense misogyny. He's, like, he just knows how to slap a bitch. God, he's wow. He is uh, he's the most he's sexist absolute person. Absolute fucker. It's so it's bad, man. It's not, it's not good. So if you don't believe us, we have the segment for you and. It's an illustrious segment on this show that we like to call Sexist Comments with Sean Connery. There are women who take it to the wire. That's what they're looking for. The ultimate confrontation. They want a smack. (laughs) Jesus. Mm. I don't think there is anything particularly wrong about hitting a woman, although I don't recommend doing it in the same way you'd hit a man. An open hand slap is justified. If all other alternatives fail, and there has been plenty of warning, of course. If a woman is a bitch, or hysterical, or bloody minded c- continually, then I'd do it. Oh, he's, oh, oh, he's a fucking. No! Man. I think a man has to be slightly advanced ahead of the woman. <laughs> <coughs> God, stop it. I like women. I don't understand them, but I like them. (laughs) During Mm. during an interview with uh, with Barbara Walters. Barbara Walters, wait till people see this interview. You're going to get mail. (laughs) Sean Connery responds, might get some female. (laughs) Sean Connery laughs. Just him. (laughs) (laughs) Oh no, Sean. No. I don't like playing golf with women. These are real. Like this, we're, we're not making this. This is, this is dead set real. It's so real. It's upsetting. Oh. <clears throat> I don't like playing golf with women, no matter how good they are. I really don't. It's very difficult to explain. It's more pleasurable playing golf with men than women. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and, and to wrap this one up, Barbara Walters during that exact same interview said, Finish this for me, Sean. Sean Connery is. Sean Connery responds, Almost a male chauvinistic pig. <laughs> and that's... Sexist remarks with Sean Connery. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. What? They're all real. <laughs> just... <laughs> and that's the worst part of it. Oh, he it's... said all of them. He's an absolute fuckwit of a man. And now we'll talk about him as James Bond. Yeah, <laughs> and we actually do like him, so it's kind of like <sighs> real and real actor and non actor. I don't like him as a person. A really different thing. What a prick. So. Today we're going to talk about Doctor No, and we're going to do one episode on each on each Bond. Um, and we made it. We'll, we'll probably do Never Say Never Again because we love Sean Connery and oh, hate yeah. him. We have a love, as you can tell, we have a love hate relationship with him, like a very passionate one. Yeah, can't wait for that one. He's oh, sixty-year-old men comes betting back. betting twenty-year-old women. <laughs> <laughs> 
for, for, for giving 120. him a range, giving him a range of venereal diseases. <laughs> <laughs> for the whole duration of the film, that's all it is. It's just uh, him in a bearskin rug. Isn't it about like BDSM or something? I truly don't. Isn't know. like the opening got some sort oh, of no, it, yeah, sadomasochist? Uh, we'll save that. Oh, yeah, we'll save that one. Wow. Later. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So Doctor No. Basically, it's a good one. I'm man. gonna pass it over to you to give us a plot yeah. summary because look, I watch them. I do every Bond film. I will watch, and then I'll be like, "Look, action!" <laughs> and like they'll just give you too many. Like, Some of it fades away. It's, it's so convoluted. It slips sometimes. through your fingers. Um, so just hit up Wikipedia and then give, <laughs> give us a plot summary. <laughs> I have read the books mm. as well, so that'll add a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, no, um, makes sense. So Doctor No was in 1962. It was the first one, mm. except for that TV special. Yeah, which we're not going to talk about because no. I mean, why would you? No one wants to. It's the most disgusting moustache. I mean, it's no good. Not, not sure about this other guy. That it's no good. We'll we'll move straight past that. One. <laughs> so basically, in Doctor No, uh, one of the British agents that's stationed in Jamaica gets killed by some assassin fellas, and M from MI6. It's six, right? It's not seven. It's oh, six. yeah, because they wanted to do seven, but then they were dumb. Anyway. Anyway, <laughs> M sends James Bond uh, to investigate what happened to Strangways, who was the British agent that got shot square in the head. Uh, he teams up with an American CIA agent and a native sort of sailor man, uh, and they end up going to a place called Crab Key Island, and that is owned by Dr. No. The title. Wow. Dr. No is in this. Who would have thought? And he is basically trying to blow everybody up, I think. <laughs> he's got a big he's got a big master evil plan and he's tied with Spectre. Uh that's it. That's if, the whole if, plot. If you think you've ever heard this plot before. You have. You have. That's <laughs> the whole thing. But so the, but the thing is, it is kind of the first, so we can't Yeah, it's uh, but still like it's the most basic thing. It is. It's so straight. That's why I think that's why they adapted it because it was so straightforward. Yeah, it was the most straightforward. It's a book. decent book. It's a decent all right. It's book. very straightforward. <laughs> it's nothing. It's nothing spectacular. Nothing, there are yeah. better ones. There are worse ones. No. It's fine. Oh, always, always. But we've got um, like I liked it. Yeah. And I I did I did really enjoy it, um, especially because I just forked out a lot of money, like <laughs> a substantial amount of money for this box set. Oh yeah, like, I didn't most... buy this. So no, I'm very happy about it. It's me. It's all me. It's all me. I just passion thought, you know what, I've got some money, I'm going to buy this. And so I did, and then I put this movie on, and like the first opening credits, I'm just like, fuck, I hope I haven't wasted <laughs> a lot of money. Like, oh. yeah, no, but it's good. I, I it's, think, it's not a bad one, I don't think. No, I, look, it does drag though. Oh, like, yeah, no, the it opening does. just takes its merry time to get, but once they're on that island and they just go, mm. and it's like, we're getting the Doctor No, it's, it's top notch. Yeah, it does. There are parts in this, and I, I rewatched it before this, I've seen it before, but whew, I was done for a little bit. There. <laughs> like the pacing, when it's when it's sort of going along, it is very good. Mm. But then those parts where nothing is happening, this one more than some of the others, it drags so hard. Yeah. I wanted to leave the room. <laughs> um, still, look, relatively enjoyable, mm. but just there's a few just dead weight periods. Yeah. To the, oh. And God, it just it just. They like to just do that thing where it's like suspense, 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 suspense. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, it, this guy's from the CIA. He's with you guys because he's white. We're all friends. <laughs> oh yeah, there is there is some some deep set racism, oh. some casual racism <laughs> sprinkled throughout. Not only this, but all of the Ian Fleming written ones and the books. Oh my, the books. Uh, I honestly <clears> think. <throat> I honestly think though that he doesn't. Has he ever been with a woman, Ian Fleming? Because I don't think I so. I doubt it. I don't. I honestly do not think he he's has. He's that overly sexual, <laughs> and like he's just. No man has sex with four women, whilst concentrating on being a special agent. Yeah. Like that's, that's. He wasn't even there for that long. Oh you know, God. it was like it was like. It's like a week, wasn't it? <laughs> it was like I can't like. There's a, there's a, I can I've like put together a fuck tally for this movie and. <laughs> There is there is four fucks in this movie. Christ. To three different women. So one woman gets it twice. Good on her. Right. And the film concludes. Put that on a plaque hanging up above your bed. <laughs> four. Yeah. I bonded Quad. twice. <laughs> anyway. So I'll move, I didn't, we'll move on. Yeah. No, but they're, the last time, the last implied sex scene, because they're all implied because this is the 60s. Mm. Um, the last implied sex scene <laughs> is the 60s. Um, 
I've got nothing to say about that. Um, the last one, he voluntarily strands himself at sea oh, yes. on a boat with no rotor, like no motor, no oars. I wrote this down as well. And so. <laughs> he's like, hey, you guys are towing us. Thanks for finding us, but I need to get some loving. And then just detaches himself <laughs> from the boat. And he's like, see you guys later. Oh. I'm going to have a sea fuck. <laughs> that's it. Oh, it's so dumb. But the 60s as well. Another thing about the 60s that you can just dead set like it's is the amount of smoking yes, in this movie. There is the amount. Like there is a scene <laughs> in a casino at the start where I actually had to look past a screen <laughs> of smoke. The haze. Because everyone is just down in a fag. Yeah, they like, love they it. Like they are just going for it. And <laughs> I'm like, it was then, one of Bond's favourite things oh, in the books as we <laughs> Like it, it, it shows. Like yeah. there's that, um, that, that, um, you know, like when, when, when there's that scene where that he figures out that guy's not actually working for, he's not on his side. Yeah. And he's, and he, you know, he stops him. <laughs> his shirt fronts him. He fucking he, fucks he, him up. He gets like him he good. just gets some of these ones. And then. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that was, you could see that. Uh, that was, was really <laughs> good. It was, it was so close to the, the real action scene. No, um, but like, as you said, you know, these long... These drawback oh, punches. He, punches. he grabs the shirt, goes right, punches in the face, and he's like, and then they come back for more, like, he does it again. Like, like full half a metre wind right. up for this. <laughs> like it matters. And, <laughs> and then he like, and he defeats him, which I have to like three punches. It was kind of piss weak. But then he, he's a beast. He's like, stops him and goes, all right, now we're going to have a cigarette. And then the guy like has a cyanide cigarette. And it's like, if you didn't just smoke every two fucking seconds, <laughs> you would have gotten the information out of the guy. Yeah. But another one, another one was when, like, that guy came to, like, kill him. And mm. and then he's like, he, he's, he, the guy comes in and he fake shoots, you know, he shoots where he's not and yeah. runs out of ammo or whatever. And then Bond, like, gets the gun on him. He looks at him. And then he just gets a cigarette. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I remember this. And I'm like, you haven't even said anything. <laughs> it's like you have been waiting in that dark corner of that room for hours. Just to light one it up. It is number one priority on your list right just now. Just to hit a dart. <laughs> 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 He's just waiting because I can't do the smoke because the guy will see the smoke. Ugh. But yeah, no. But like besides the 60s stuff, like he is a bit of a a bit of a bad, badass if you yeah. ask. Like, you could... You can put it that way. I, I like, because he's, he's an effective lead minus, you know, the mass sex and the. Yeah. And using women and. Connery you know. as Bond is is the one that I think of when people talk about James yeah. Bond or if I see James Bond's doing something, I think of Sean Connery doing it mm. more so than any of the others. But he is very of his time as well. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm not sure it would fly as much as it did then. No. But yeah, I like it. it. Like it's one of those special things that just exists in its in its time. Yeah, like, it wouldn't exist anywhere else. And if it didn't do as well as it did, then we wouldn't have the franchise that we have mm. today. That's twenty five movies long that we're going to watch. And I can't Every- wait for my brain to seep uh... out of my ears. And on the last one of of the James Bond series, you'll probably hear me crying <laughs> for most of the just way through it. We're very good. Just because <laughs> we'll have to go through the absolute shriveled sh- shriveled sultana head. There are some Roger bad Moore. ones. Now, like, I do have one question that I'd like to get off my uh, chest very early <laughs> in this. Um, in the opening scene, you know, the gun barrel, the themes rolling along, there's this man, the man who shoots back. It's just a bloke in a hat. <laughs> uh, who is that? Why Why is that's not a villain? That's not James Bond. It's just a bloke in a, in a hat and he's there. There's no explanation. He's not in the movie. In a, oh, uh, well. Who is that? I've got, I've got your answer. And it's... Bob Simmons. Who is the, Bob Simmons? Bob Simmons, the stunt man, who just happened to do it <laughs> for some reason. But look, that's that's like one of the main things about this movie is it's not a franchise yet. No. And it doesn't know, it hasn't got the Bond opening. It hasn't got the Bond theme. It hasn't got the gun barrel thing with Bond shooting. I it's don't know why that is. Still, <laughs> make it someone relevant to the film. You don't just so. make it a guy. <laughs> it's, he's got a hat though. <laughs> It's, <laughs> it's very um, specific. I agree. No, but it's it and it's getting there. And like and the use of the theme, for example, in this movie is so ridiculously mundane. Mm. And in a couple like a couple of the next ones where it's like 
you know, he's walking. He's walking to like a <laughs> a tourist agency. Da, 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 da. Just to be clear, that is my favorite part of this movie. <laughs> he's doing the most boring shit, and he's like, he's like. I don't know, like putting a tie on and shutting a door and it's boom, 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 boom. It's nothing. Nothing's happening. Not one thing has happened. I love it. It's the best. It's so good. What was the other one? I'm sure, like, and um, walking across the casino in the, like, in the, in the beginning. He's just walking across, walking through the smoke haze. The smoke haze. Then it's just this a, thick wall. It's just like, he <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. Ba-da, ba-da. Like it, it's not even like the bomb, but a bomb, but it's, it's the, incredible. It's, it's the kick in bit. It's it's and as it, if something important has happened and it just hasn't. Oh my god, I yeah. adore it. I it's so good. Yeah, no, I could but not. I could not want it to it, go any other way. <laughs> like the, the music is great though. Like, no, it is, and, and yeah. I, I can't like say that enough. That um, I think because I always go to say that it's the wrong person that made it, but I know that the guy that um has the credit on this on this film. Is a different guy to gets who gets the credit for the theme mm. because the guy that gets the credit for the theme reworked it. I should know these names, but I don't. I do not either. But I, sh- I, I would never. <laughs> 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 no, but, but basically, like you can tell that it's not entirely the James Bond theme yet. Again, it's still like trying to figure itself out. Yeah, as a franchise. I mean, and, it's the first one, and yeah. for a first film, it it does set it off quite well. Oh, there are a lot well. of things that carry over, mm. even though the. My name is Bond, James Bond thing. Mm. He says that because someone else said it first. Yeah. Like, that's not his thing. Yeah, it's which interesting is, how that's become which such is a, weird, like, a but... ridiculous phenomenon. Yeah, and I, like, him as a character, I didn't I didn't entirely think that he was Bond yet mm. in this film. Like, he felt more like a private investigator than James Bond. But, like, he was, he was still... He was getting there. He yeah. was very much getting there. And, like, he was starting to crack some one-liners. Like, the, the hearse going... <laughs> Off the cliff and exploding, <laughs> and the guy's like, "Where were they going?" And then Bond's like, "I guess they were heading to a funeral." <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> but that's so dumb. It is. But what one my favorite line from this film is when that guy comes in because this is like the ultimate Bond's a, a bit of a cool dude. Scene He's the best for me was when that guy came and tried to like he knew someone is coming to kill him. He sits down, starts playing solitaire. Like, yeah. just while he waits for someone to come try and kill him. And then the dude comes in, shoots the, you know, the fake person under the bed thing that you've seen a million times. Um, they have a conversation. The dude's reaching for his gun to kill Bond. And he picks it up, fires it, goes click. And then Bond goes, I Smith and Wesson. And you've had your six. <laughs> and then, like, blows him away. <laughs> that is, that's iconic. It's that one's awesome. so good. But just on the cards, <laughs> I'm glad they cut some of that out. Because when you read the book, there are, like... <laughs> A quarter of that book is just cards. He's just sitting down playing cards. <laughs> nothing's happening. I'm sure if it was in the film, the theme tune would be going in the background, but nothing's happening. It doesn't take the plot anywhere. And and for the film's sake, it's really, uh... really done a good thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> the book and the, like, the massage. Which one's the massage in? Oh, that's the next. Hot- we will come oh, to that. <laughs> oh, shut up. I have that one oh, ready to oh, go. Oh, shut up. Uh, yeah, no, but... Um, one one thing that I um that I really liked, and that's I'm being satirical here, is the name Honey Rider because like huh. ha- have you ever heard of a name closer to a porn star than <laughs> Honey Rider, spelt with a Y by the way, oh. Honey Honey Rider. Yeah, when, when, oh. was she going to be riding? And, <laughs> just ask Sean. <laughs> <Just, laughs> he'll tell tell you. Trust oh. me, he'll tell you. No, ah, it wasn't good. The na- like, and the, well, it's like a thing that we all know that if you, if you know Bond. There's, yeah, like there's a section where it's just porn star names, but it wasn't before this. This is yeah. the one that yeah. was like, "Hey, let's let's make them all yeah, pornos." Exactly. It, it was like because you'd expect it to sort of, like a lot of these tropes to come in, like especially the, like the very sexist sort of thing that it was you know banging a lot of women and yeah, I written mean, by the, Sean Connery himself, <laughs> I'm sure. <but laughs> I mean, yeah, Terence Young, who directed this film, <laughs> said, "Look, <laughs> look, I'm having a bit of a dry spell. <laughs> I need to fuck a lot of women in this film, otherwise, oh. I'm not doing it." And yeah, but there's like just that whole thing just starts like mm. movie one. We've got like you know oh, porn star names. We've got and like just on that the way that he approaches that character, the singing. Uh, oh my god! Where he comes, yeah, she's it's, just mine on her own. Sh- comes out of the thing and goes <laughs> underneath the mango tree. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. And, but it kind of hit me yesterday. That that exact scene has been done before in the nursery rhyme, <laughs> Red Riding Hood. 
with the big bad wolf. <laughs> like he's hiding in the bush. He's hiding in the bushes. He's hiding in the bushes. Watching her like collect shells. And she's and singing. It, and he, he like, because he was asleep before. And it's like, he, he's just got this like. Raging he, erection. He, yeah, it's this predator radar. <laughs> switches, he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and comes out of these bushes. Yeah, anyway. She's just singing a song on her own. Oh, my and he, he's out of nowhere. <laughs> he just joins in and he just walks. She's like, don't move. And he just walks over to her. <laughs> So that exact scene has been done so many times before, uh, but it's the villain. Yeah. Sean Connery is the villain. Sean Connery's the villain of life. <laughs> like, he's not... <laughs> he's against women. Maybe not in this movie, but yeah, in everything else. In everything <laughs> else. Yeah, but well... Yeah, anyway, the movie. The movie itself. The movie itself, minus all the random random shit that... It's fun. It is, it is. And it, that, that's, it's just a very strange thing that it... Minus how, like, dated it is. It is pretty It dated. is so much fun. And mm. it's... Not very intellectual, but... It's, yeah, the plot is weak as, is, as piss. Is, is sh- but shit. Apart from that, <laughs> it is very fun. The action, even for the 60s, it, it, it's good. Oh, it's good. Yeah, except like that one car chase though. Yeah. With like the car behind it is green screen and the car behind it is bigger than the car itself. Like, the green screen hasn't been perfected, but, <laughs> you know, it's still good. It's 1962. Oh, we'll I, get, I we'll, thought we'll it was it good. It. Yeah, but... Um, the. The Island Onwards was when I really loved this film. Yeah, and, yeah. And it, you know, because they're building up and building up and building up and, you know, quarrels, you know, we're getting, the, we're getting a gang together and it's mm. been that sort of camaraderie of like, let's go solve a case. Yeah. You know? And and Quarrel was full on against him at first. <laughs> like he, he wanted to kill James Bond oh, yeah. straight up. End his life. <laughs> and, and now they're best mates. Uh, so it's. Yeah, he can get glass next to him That's... in the cheek. And the smile, like what was that about? She, one of the, I don't even know who. Who was the lady? Like, I just keep taking photos of people. Yeah, some some that, photographer, freelance photographer, was taking photos at a party that James Bond and Quarrel uh, were at, the Sailor Man, and Quarrel captured her yeah. and and drags drags her over to Bond, mm. and they're talking, having a, a nice little interrogation, and she breaks a light bulb <laughs> and and slices it across Quarrel's face, like and. There is so much blood. He is pissing blood out of his face. <laughs> and he just laughs. He just looks at her and goes, ha ha. And, Ooh. and they go, she's a feisty one. Yeah. Like, and then it's like, you have got to get stitches. Like this bloke doesn't give a shit. <laughs> he is hard as fuck. <laughs> he, he collects, but he collects rocks. He, does. he collects rocks for a living. He does. Um, yeah. but what, like, And when they're on that island and... They're sort of like getting closer and closer to Dr. No. And I, a brilliant thing that I thought this movie did so well was withholding Dr. No and like building this. Yeah, no, I agree with building, that. Building this like, who is this guy? Like um, when when that, when that, what the fuck was he? Like an archaeologist? <laughs> I don't know. The dude that studied rocks that wasn't Quarrel, that professionally studied rocks. I did not. I, ooh, I don't know his name, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> that guy, that he works for Dr. No. And yeah. that moment where he. Goes in and says, Bond's on your, on your case. And Dr. No is like batshit insane. Yeah, like, he's, he's <laughs> off his nut. And he puts him in that huge room and it's just this ominous boy. Like, just, you know, you will find him, you know, finish the job for me. There's a box. And mm-hmm. It's like a, just a trench. And he's like, go kill him with a spider. I, uh, I'll, I hate that. Uh, you know, a fan of the spiders. I don't you? like spiders, no. <laughs> um, probably about as much as Sean Connery doesn't like spiders. <laughs> or women. Or women. <laughs> you know, it's about the same level. Yeah. And... Have you, like, uh, no, don't worry. That's, we'll leave that, it. That, that, we'll leave <laughs> it. I don't want to go too far into that because okay, I apologise to everybody yeah. who has to deal with Sean Connery's misogyny because yeah. it's just, oh, he's a horrible it person. hits hard. It really does. But, yeah, so they send up this tarantula mm. to, to go get James Bond and I've never seen a sweatier man <laughs> than Sean Connery in the tarantula <laughs> scene and, oh, my goodness, oh. it's pouring off him. He's glistening oh, and it's... God. it's it is intense. And it was it was like it was a good scene. It was a good until, scene. Until we got the shot where we needed to see Sean Connery's face with the spider. And Sean Connery did not want to do it. And it you didn't. can tell there's a bit of glass between the two of them, because then Sean moves, but the spider doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like something oh, it wasn't good. And I just I thought though, like it was such a good scene mm. until they fucked it up by trying to do some special <laughs> effects. And that's most of this movie. Like most of this movie is consistently good. And yeah, it's amazing. And I it's do just, really enjoy it's it. It's great. It's great. It's great. Uh, I will also say, highly recommend getting this on Blu-ray. Yeah, because the restoration of this is oh, it looks it, good. It is so good. Like um, I was 
watching the handkerchief. Like he just gets out the cyanide handkerchief thing. Yeah. And he puts it in the handkerchief. Sorry, that cyanide cigarette and puts it in the handkerchief. Mm. And it's got a close up of it. And I'm like going out to my TV and going like, fuck, I can see the fibers. <laughs> and it's like, could you Ooh. look at that in- individual stones of gravel? Oh, like my. this film is in 1962. <laughs> like, oh, it's so nice. Mm. Yeah, but it's no, good. No, it is good quality. Um, uh, it is it's like, it, it's a good looking film, mm. even without the Blu-ray restoration, I think, just the way it was done. Oh, the way it was shot. E- even for the time, it's really good. And that, it looks good. Um, one, one scene that I went like, wow, for the cinematography was that night scene where, they, where they've got the big... Uh, the big dragon attacking them and oh, yeah. they said that sunset and like in its fire and it's like, oh, it was just so pretty to look at. And all it's of not it. an actual dragon, it's not- <laughs> by the way, just in case you haven't we'll, seen the film, it's not a real dragon. We'll, we'll get there. It's- <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah. So basically they go from, they go from forming this group to we've got to find Dr. No. Then Han, they go to the island, find Honey Rider, the you know, the point whose star. voice is absolutely dubbed oh, over. The dubbing in this movie. If you are not a main character, your dubbing is bad. Yeah. Or you're getting voiced over by someone else. <laughs> which is what happens in this film. It's what happens in the next one. <laughs> like the Bond girl has to be perfect to yeah, like and it, I, I can't I don't think either of them in this one or or the next one, that's not the real voice. No. At no, all. Like it's not, not even for a not. second. They've they've um if you check the credits, it's voiced by Jeez. someone else. And I don't know why they've done it. Like I have no idea. It's it's like they're like, oh, you're pretty, but your voice isn't. <laughs> it's like, what's that? Like, didn't Korea do that in like one of their Olympics? Or yeah, something? They got probably. The, they got the because they had the little girl that was singing. I don't remember which oh, one geez. it was. I think it might have been at the Seoul one. I don't know, but they basically chucked the girl that was singing behind the curtain. <laughs> oh no! And then put someone lip syncing in front of the curtain for the I've show. I've heard this before, which is like one of the worst things I've ever heard. Oh. It's essentially what they've done for this film. Yeah. And it's oh, it's not fair. But, it's, but honey, honey right, she is everything that every Bond girl is, is f- yeah. from then on. Mm. And I guess that's good. Yeah, like she's she's nothing. <laughs> it's unfortunate because of of, of 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 the time, and I guess Sean Connery. We've discussed this so many times already. Yeah, she's not really allowed to do anything, and that's a bit upsetting. You know, you'd think that she has more of a character arc than she does, but she does help out every now and then. Mm. But she's there to be the woman for Bond. Uh, and that improves in, in the, the later films drastically and that pleases me and I'm sure it pleases everybody except for Sean Connery as well. But for what she is in the film, I think it's quite good still. It's, it doesn't really detract from it too much except her stupid porn star name that I guess was the first thing someone thought of and they just wrote it down oh, and left it. This is cool. Actually. This is politically correct. This Amazing. Is, oh, it's so dumb. Mwah, bellissimo. Yeah. But, but that moment... <laughs> When they, when they pass the whole, ooh, I want to bang you. I've just found you in a bikini collecting oh. shells. Yeah, she couldn't have been wearing a shirt. And, like, it had yeah. to be. Anyway. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> no. And then her boat, the boat that she came on, because she's not with them, and the boat that she came on gets uh, bullet holes in it when they get shot at mm. by Dr. No's crew. Like, when they're isolated on that island and it becomes a very sort of... Well, the thing the thing about Dr. No that works so well is the mystery, I think. Yes. I think. And... In the, and with with uh, the next film is the next film is more about tension than it is mystery. And mm. This film's about mystery and that whole you're on the island with the villain. You've you know you've made it here. There's nowhere to go. You have to find out what's happening. And it's just like so. Ex- I thought it was really exciting, like, especially when they know they're there and yeah. they're just on the run on this island that they've got no way off. It is it's, good. It, there is a, a certain level of intensity in, yeah. in some of the like when Bond uh, they're hiding in in the river. Yeah, that was fantastic. And the guy is looking for them. He just he pastes him. Oh. Bond just like he cuts that guy's throat. throat he's so gone. He's, uh, yeah, uh, this st- oh, it was so good. And like, she was Honey Rider was terrified. Yeah, she was, uh, she's like, oh my god, why did you do that? She's, she's like, I, I bloody had to, <laughs> mate. This is this is the end of us if I don't start yeah. killing these people. Yeah. So, but then, like that, that was my probably my favorite sequence because then after that it escalates and there's the, you know there's this whole mystery of. There is the dragon of Crow Key, and they're like, oh, what's this dragon thing? And you see it, and it's this big fucking tractor with a face. Yeah, it like, it's one of the most inconvenient looking pieces of military <laughs> warfare I've ever seen, but it does the job. Like, it does it's, the it's, job. It's this really slow, like, lanky tank thing with, like, a p- dragon painted on it. I the, mean, it's terrified everybody yeah, it, in Jamaica. It so. freaked me out when I watched it as a kid. Like, that scene still freaks me out um, today. Like, yeah. I've still got that, like, you know, but trolling tells you as a child, you watch it again, you're like, oh, I remember this, repressed memories. Yeah. Uh, but it was so, like, 
it was very freaky, but it was also quite impractical at the same time. But it was still like it worked because it blows like fire like two meters in front of it. Mm. So it's got to literally be on top of you to get you. But the, like this thing slowly rolling towards you, and you see it, and it's like everyone's like, "Quick, shoot at it with our shitty pistols." That'll work. <laughs> and then Quarrel will fucking ding, ding it off. It. Quarrel turns into a barbecue. Like, oh, poor bloke. He like he he dies a death. Like it sets him on fire. Pretty brutal for just, for the first yeah and movie. That's what, that's like what I it's thought. the sixties, man. And I'm like, that's pretty. Fu-. Like it's still some like watching it. I was thinking, this is full on. Like this is. And he just mm. flops over. Like it's like he's dead immediately. He's he is no. Dead. It's, he just flops to the floor. That would I don't think I saw this one as a kid. I, yeah. I was very limited in the ones I saw. Yeah, me that too. would have terrified me. Me too. Yeah. Him oh. getting shredded like that. Because I remember like it. I remember, I'm watching it. I'm like, doesn't someone die here? And I, you know, I'm like, I remember this. Oh, like, it has not, it's been It's something that, that so haunts long. your nightmares yeah. every year since yeah. you saw it. <laughs> I've just finally got over oh. it through lots of years of psychology. You've been thrown <laughs> right back in the deep end, <laughs> right next to his charred corpse. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just... <laughs> Oh. Yeah, but to be clear as well, like, because I don't think I mentioned this before, but uh, we have not seen these films since we were like 10 years yeah, old. Yeah, it's been a, a while. It's a long time ago. A long, long time ago. Like, I'm fully prepared for some of them to be just total shocking, shit. Shocking, shocking. Oh, bad. no, no, no. Yeah. This yeah. one's good, though. I stand by that. Yeah, I will say I like it. this I one. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, and then, but then, like, after that tank bit, and they actually capture them, and it's like, it, it's the cliche, ooh. Uh, the, the the evil guy wants to actually treat you with hospitality. Yes, yeah, lovely. We've just burnt your friend alive. <laughs> but come on in to our big hotel. Look at like, the sweet like kimono robes <laughs> that they give him. <laughs> like nah. How could this be a bad guy? And then oh, he's giving just... us these awesome shirts. Oh. And... Yeah, but they catch capture them and then Doctor No goes through and explains his old master plan and then they, mm. you know, you know, mm, you know his, what you're about to see. Like his hands. He's the, his big like. What were they? Were they even like operated? Like, could he even use his hands? I think they were just metal. They were just big things that you could just like flail in yeah, the general direction. They, they, he had gloves on the whole time, right? Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I don't really know what the deal was, unless yeah. I like, missed a very important point there. All I know <laughs> is that his hands are it, fucked. Yeah. <laughs> and he loves to crack people over the head with yeah. them. Yeah. They just kind of glossed over it, didn't they? I think like, so, yeah. yeah. But it's a cool, like, it's a very cool set. Except yeah. one thing I will say. And I read about this and I thought it was quite funny. Is in that like big dinner table scene where he's like telling them everything he's going to do and how he belongs to the evil Spectre group. Mm. And um, there's that like glass thing with all the, the fish behind him. Yeah. And the fish are huge. <laughs> and he gives that whole talk about how, oh, we used, uh, you know, 10 times triple stacked glass. So um, it magnifies it by 10. And, and it depends what side of the glass you're on. I oh guess. yes, and it's a really like weird philosophical thing. Yeah, so that came. They came out with that on the day. Yeah, I'm sure they did <laughs> <laughs> because because they had done all the production design for the scene and they put a green screen where that where that where the fish were. Um, and then he they kind of realized on the day they're like, oh shit, we don't have any footage for the fish. <laughs> so then, and the only like stock footage they could get their hands on was too close up. This giant fish. Yeah, so they just had to like make it huge. It's a good it. lie. And then, yeah, but they pulled it off all right. It's a good lie. Like, that's pretty funny, though. Like, it they is. Just, they try and get away with it by just giving this really weird... <laughs> just chuck it in there. Right a- the ambiguous, end. like, philosophical comment. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, they intended that. They like, did. <laughs> fooled the audience, mm. yeah. Now, Doctor No. Uh, <laughs> all right. Know where this We've is talked going. about this before, <laughs> and I'm sure we'll talk about it again. Yeah. Doctor No is meant to be half German, half Chinese yeah. in this film. That's his thing. That was what it was in the book. Uh-huh. He's... He's Chinese. His mother was Chinese. This man playing Dr. No, the actor, he is not Chinese, <laughs> nor is he German. He's straight up like Caucasian. He's, he's English or something. <laughs> is that, what's his name? Um, I don't Wiseman? Know. Jonathan Wiseman? Jo- yeah, Johnny. Johnny yeah, Jonathan Old Wiseman. Johnny Wiseman <laughs> is not a Chinese person. And this is really indicative <laughs> of the 60s, I think, where they're like, nah, don't get an actual... Tra- we'll just put this prosthetic eyes on him. <laughs> And pretend that he's Chinese. <laughs> that won't offend anybody. Yeah, uh, no. It oh, did. It, it offended did. me. <laughs> <laughs> just like, get a Chinese yeah, actor. I, I, they were around. Yeah. I'm sure <laughs> just... Like, I, 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 I really liked him as a villain. I That was a bit off-putting. It but did throw me him off. Him as a villain, it's amazing. The like, characterization itself is and good. he does have that sort of, like, really, like, freaky stature. He is, yeah, he's but, intense. He's kind of... It kind of seeps out this, yeah. this weird feeling every like, time he's in the room. He's, it's like, this does, guy's gonna... It seems like that sort of like that kid that no one listened to. Yeah. Like, and then he's just grown up. So yeah. He's a good. Another thing about this film though, 
is the outrage that the Vatican actually banned this. The, they actually condemned this film. Mm. They said, nah, 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 none of that. Um, but <laughs> one of my favourite things that I've ever read is Time Magazine reviewed this film. I have this as well. You have this as I well. I had this written down. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is good. It is good. Yes. He's so fucking hairy. I was going to yeah, okay. bring this up. Well, basically, Time Magazine said that it was a big pile of shit, this movie. <laughs> and then they said, I disagree, but all right. Yeah, no, it's good. They just didn't know because it was too, like, too much sex. They were like, what's going on? But they actually described um, Sean Connery. <laughs> This is a direct <laughs> quote. They said, Sean Connery as Bond is a great, big, hairy marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> Which is accurate. It is. It's not it wrong. Is like that's, that's pretty good. Oh, but it's not It's yeah. not a bad movie. I'm really glad we both found that, though. <laughs> that was one of my favourite things I'm, in yeah. the prep for this. I'm just reading through. Because we've got, we got notes. We've got notes. Because we, we don't give a fuck about this, really, like when yeah. it comes to what we... We're just going to speak our mind because we do this normally. That's why we thought Yeah, this is basically a conversation we would have with a camera in between, a camera, oh, yeah. a microphone in between us instead. Yeah, but yeah, so we're just, we're just, we've got notes so we know kind of where we're going. But if it ever just goes off the rails, shit house, it you, will. You know why. If you know it me, will. it will. It will. It will. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Just wait till I get mad. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> One day. Oh. Yeah. If you stick, yeah, if you're actually listening to us for that long. Yeah, we'll see. Look, <laughs> I don't blame you, but yeah, um, there but will be more giant hairy marshmallows uh, <laughs> from here on. I promise. It's gonna happen. There's at least one more. There's yeah, no- <laughs> yeah, yeah. Moving along. So after that, after that dinner table scene, they lock Bond away and say, "Look, we're basically we're gonna kill you or whatever. Yeah, and we're gonna blow eat, something. Eat, eat shit. Yeah, I think is a direct quote. It's not. It's not really. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, but they they. Uh, you know, got to blow up something. From memory. Yeah. I don't even remember what it was. Look, there's a big missile. Doctor No yeah. doesn't like anything. He wants yeah. to shit on the moon or something. Don't <laughs> Probably. Mm. Uh, big bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A big, a big bomb. Doctor Yes. Doctor Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, of course Bond escapes. Yeah. They've got. They decided to put a vent in his. It's like, a wicked steam uh, vent. Which. Probably should have killed him. Yeah, I think so, because it was hot. I remember watching it as a kid and go, ooh, that would hurt. It would. <laughs> and it just suddenly gets flooded with water, and he's like, okay, fun ride. Off we go. <laughs> Honey ride is just somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. I can't even remember where she was. She's hanging out. Then... She's probably getting a massage. <laughs> <laughs> For ten pages. Like the whole book way through the book, book. yeah. We'll get um, to that, don't no worry. We'll get to that. That's maybe. coming. That's, that's in the next one. Uh, when we have a name, maybe. Yeah, probably uh, not though. <laughs> don't even know what to call this. Uh, anyway, please, please help us the <laughs> podcast. <clears throat> we'll, we'll, we'll say like the name of our podcast at the beginning of one of them one day when it's figured out. When it's figured out, it may never be figured it's out. Untitled. Um, anyway, the big action set piece. Yeah, the big, we, we get to the end. Yeah, and and so there's the big there's the big room where he's orchestrating all of his evil. Doctor No, I mean all, all, of his, yeah, all of his Doctor No things. Yeah, he does. He's, 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 there's a whole bunch of buttons and dials and you know all that stuff. And he's like, let's launch the missile or whatever. And then Bond's made his way there and walks out in a hazmat suit disguised like every because everyone else is in hazmat suits. Where did he get it? Where did, exactly. Where did he get it? Just that random room. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's not They're important. Like, he's James Bond. He probably had one in his back pocket. We'll just <laughs> keep going. A fucking clown. Like, like, <laughs> anyway, Ooh. we'll get to that oh, in a while. There's some but, good things coming. Uh, but, bad, bad things. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, this is when it's good. It's like we're looking at it now. It's gonna. There's a dip in the middle. It's, it's just gonna go down. There's a big dip in the middle. Um, yeah, and, and essentially, Bond starts playing around with the dials and overloading it because apparently he knows what to do. He is James Bond. He knows everything. And then um, Doctor No figures it out, and everyone starts evacuating because, of course, the thing's gonna fucking blow up. It is like it's gonna shit the bed. Go <laughs> right then and there. Literally every Bond movie will just it's not just the villain's lair going, it's the villain's lair getting blown to the fucking sky. It's gone. This whole it's thing is going up in flames. <laughs> it's out. And, and then he's like, oh, okay, and then they have this like absolute oh like look, I wanted a big showdown. I'm not gonna lie, I wanted a massive showdown. And then these two just kind of like fumbled about. Well, he's for a got bit. metal hands. <laughs> it was really kind of awkward. He was going like, bunk. All he does is swing them around. Yeah, it's just, it's like a mace. <laughs> His hands are just like two maces. Yeah, and he's swinging around and 
then he falls, Dr. No falls into the big water cooling thing and just boils to death. He melts. He melts. I'm pretty sure like he, full he on. full on melts. <laughs> like, this is a man, you know? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure Bond melted a man in the first movie. In the- I like it. I think it's great. <laughs> it's a real it's a real 60s James Bond ending for a villain. Just, they melt. It's just <laughs> awesome. Boil, boils him like a cup of tea. <laughs> like an English a nice English, English breakfast. A nice English breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> but that happens. It does. Oh, it does. <laughs> it does. Um, Bond of course finds Honey Rider. They run off. You know, get out of there. The face off we just go. Gets turned into a crater. Just ashes itself <laughs> gone. <laughs> Everyone's out of there. Everyone's Fly, like flying out of here, freaking out for their lives. Then they get stranded on that boat. The the old mate, CIA, was it? Felix Leiter, uh, the American sorry. agent. Uh, who was also quite good in this. Just yeah, throw that in right. at the end here. He was pretty good, decent side character. Yeah, very. I, I did like that, how he sort of just like, ooh, I'm going to watch you at the yeah. airfield. You're like, what's this guy about? And he's a good guy. Like that, That's yeah. the classic Bond thing. Yeah. But basically, they find him. Stranded in the ocean, and then we get that scene where Bond's like, where Bond's like, "Hey, yeah. let's let's do it instead of going home. <laughs> we could do it in a bed, on, on, but I've got a bucket list." On one to. side, we have "Let's get home safe and not die at sea." <laughs> on the other side, we have "Let's get jiggy with it." <laughs> and if you're, if you're James Bond, you're gonna pick you're gonna pick the right hand side <laughs> of that equation, and you're gonna fuck the Bond girl, no matter what <laughs> happens to you afterwards. And then this credits roll. Really good. It's like they go down, they go down under the bow of the boat. It ends on them having there's, sex. It's that, but then she like goes down, like she's like, come follow me. But there's that awkward moment where she's like on her knees in front of his cock for like a good <laughs> 10 seconds. And you think, is she just going to go at it? This is it. While right here. Bond maintains eye contact with help just slowly going it's away. It's awesome. He's like, yes, watch me go. Now this watch, just, watch me blow, boys. This, this, <laughs> this just, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> There's just one thing, one little little detail that is prevalent through the entire thing, and this last scene is no different. They kiss each other with their fucking eyes open. Their <laughs> eyes are locked. No, their eyes are locked on each other, and they're staring at each other, and they just open mouth kiss. And the whole time I'm sitting there, I'm like, "What are you? Holy fuck! What are you doing? It's so weird, man. No, it's so weird." It's worse in the beginning because they don't really know each other and they're just kind of like, look at me. It, it's fucked up. I don't like it. No offence to anybody who is into that or, or does that, I guess. For me personally, holy shit, please don't. If, if, if that's what you, you, you... James Bond, you're honey rider, you're kissing, you open eyes, you lock eyes. I'm so against it. It's really unsettling. And uh, it didn't improve throughout the film. It gets worse. I didn't even pick up. I noticed it just said it straight away. Just hit me in the face every time. Every time he's just it's looking like, into her eyes. Do you remember eyes. the Sims? Like the first Sims game where there was no eye animation and then they'd pass and then they'd be like, very similar to that. It's so unsettling. Oh, it is weird. It's like horror movie material. I actually have in my notes in all caps. They kiss with open fucking eyes. <laughs> just, just so I didn't forget to talk about it. No good. Please don't. <laughs> That's fucked. It is. Oh, one thing I will say though, because the just. Because we've reached the end, the wrap up and like the opening of this film just go all the way back, straight up to the um, right up to the top. We'll just yeah. start again. We'll just start again. We'll do this again. No, um, but with the dots, like the bump, 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 yeah, bump, 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 and that weird like tribal dancing silhouette piece of shit. It changes came from on. the like awesome Bond theme the to Bond theme. Bump, yeah, to this weird let's all dance. Yeah, the dots is cool, and I I really like it. It's kind of like, but you can tell it's hand drawn because it's hand drawn by an artist. But, like, the whole Bond opening thing is, like, just, again, back to what I said about it not being a franchise, it's, like, just starting. And for that, it, it's, it's a really cool little... I just, mm. I just find the dot thing just really cool. It is cool. So, it, it, it inter- it's interesting straight away. Yeah, like you're it, like, this is different. You can tell it's something else. And it's kind of like, um, what was that art style around back then? They, I don't Look, if you think I know that, <laughs> you are so wrong. Like, you know, like, like, 60s, <laughs> uh, the 60s home, like, that... Sort of like mm. the dots. That, yeah. that was a very like polka dot style. It was very reminiscent of the time. Like, yeah. But yeah. it still works. Like yeah. all, of, all of this film still works. It does. And on, as a whole, mm. um, as the most casual film viewer <laughs> probably on earth, <laughs> I really liked it. Yeah, it was me fun. Too. Me too. It, it, some of the plot points are weak, but eh, mm, yeah. I'll roll with it. It's good. Mm. It, action's pretty good for the 60s. Sean Connery is probably my favourite James Bond. Yeah, He's absolutely. really good. 
everything about him screams, I am Bond. <laughs> even he embodies in, it so Even well. in the first one, and he only gets better, and then uh, he gets real bad <laughs> when he's old. But this movie is is good. I had a great time I with it. Totally agree. Even like, now, like I was, I was into it. Like I was quite tired the night I watched it, and then it just worked. I was in, I was enthralled. Mm. Like I'm like I'm on for this ride. I didn't remember half of the plot points. Like, and this is like fifty years after. Oh, uh, it, it is, and it's it's still good. It still works, it especially still like especially if you've got like a quality thing. I would like to just personally. I've got a thing about quality where I find it really hard to watch old movies if they look like absolute garbage. That's fair. Like, and so Blu-ray restorations are really good. And this, this is like amazing. Mm, it no, amazing it is. on Blu-ray. I'll recommend all of these Bond films on Blu-ray because they look so good. Even yeah. if they're shit, they yeah. still look pretty good. <laughs> it's, 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 it's it makes story. up for yeah, it. Yeah. The cinematography. Just that little bit. The cinematographers, I can't remember his name again. I should know this stuff. But, I wouldn't have a clue. But um, he's very good. I know. Um, Ted Moore. Ted Moore. There you go. Bang. I was going to say, I know that Trevor Bond does animation. <laughs> and that just had to happen. <laughs> <laughs> he did the dots. He did, the, he did dots. the dots. He's like, this is, my, this is my time to shine. But okay, what would you give it? How many, how many Sean Connery misogynist comments out of 10 would you give it? Oh, he said so many more than 10. <laughs> um, look, I'd probably give it. Eight full-on sexist remarks out of ten, uh, especially as a franchise opener, it does really get it off on, on the right foot. I think. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably I'd give it, um, seven point five light bulb glasses out of ten. <laughs> I really like. With it. no reaction after no, the glasses. No reaction. It's just like, it yeah, is good. Like, it is in the higher echelon yeah, of Bond of, films. I think there is a reason why we have a franchise as mm. big as we do from here. Yeah. So I don't really. We're not really sure how to finish. How are we going for time? It's but been a while. <laughs> it's been a um, while. Thank you for spending your time with us. And yeah. On the topic of misogyny, I'm going to end with a quote oh. from John Wayne. And doesn't it make you uncomfortable? I'm going to ease us out. With a quote. From Go Kicker's top ten most misogynist comments ever made. <laughs> I, I want you to check it out. Because we can't say the rest of them. I, it, I refuse to let those words come out of my mouth. We want this podcast to make it on iTunes, theoretically. <laughs> anyway. They have the right to work. Whenever they want to. As long as they have dinner ready. When I get home. <laughs> oh, no. No. John Wayne. John, no. <laughs> oh. What the fuck with That's not good, is it? Oh. You should have dinner with Sean Connery sometime. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot to talk about. Anyway, thank you. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you so much.